ask drivers, and many tell you it's become chaos in New York City because of miles of bike lanes popping up in recent years. The Department of Transportation installed more than 60 miles of dedicated cycling space last year, the most of any year. It's impossible to drive. It makes it very difficult. I don't know how they're going to ever rectify it. Statistics show over the last five years, the average speed in Manhattan below 60th Street has decreased from over nine miles an hour to about eight miles an hour. We took the issue to the DOT commissioner, Polly Trottenberg. There is a reality that a lot of people are still driving. Are you not concerned that by creating all of these bike lanes that it's slowing traffic and making it worse for drivers? And have studies been done to show that people are using the bike lanes because people are complaining that a lot of times they're empty? I mean, look, I'll give you some of the statistics. I mean, cycling has increased dramatically in New York City. And, you know, look, there's always going to be in a very congested city and a city that's growing, there's always going to be a lively debate about how we allocate allocate our street space. Our request to ask the DOT commissioner more questions were declined. I tried getting the answers over the phone. So we looked on the website and that's not the information we needed. We wanted to know if a significant number of cyclists are using the lanes now. The website states studies show a double digit increase in volume of 59% after implementation of the lanes. But that was information from 2014 before many more miles were added. Trottenberg also said recent data shows traffic isn't getting worse in New York City. When we look at our traffic studies, we generally see at, at best we keep traffic neutral. Sometimes we make it a little better. We asked to see specific studies showing more drivers are not on the roads. Again, they referred us to the website. It's the worst ever. It's been, the city nowadays is the worst driving around. Today, we saw bike lanes in use, other times, not so much. A lot of real estate has been given up on the promise that these bike lanes would be heavily used. At some point, many New Yorkers would like to see real evidence that it was and remains a good bet. Emily Smith, CBS 2 News. And we also wanted to know about law enforcement in the bike lanes. We're told the NYPD does not keep track of incidents specific to bike lanes, but tell us that they've written about 8,500 summonses in the first four months of this year as compared to just about 5,800 for all of last year.